Hi guys, Steven Slate here with another Slate Digital tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the virtual bus compressors and I'll be giving you some tips on how to use them to enhance your mix bus processing. Let's get started on a pop rock mix. This is going to be dry, no processing. Let's take a listen. Okay, so this mix sounds really good. Uh, we don't want to change too much about it, but what we want to enhance is the tightness of the low end. We want to make it a little wider and fatter sounding, and I want to take those drums that are already sounding really nice, and I want to make them pop out of the mix even more. The best way to achieve that is with the Virtual Bus Compressor FG Red. Now, this is a compressor that is modeled after one of the most famous mix bus compressors of all time. In fact, it's used by one of the most famous mixers of all time, Chris Lord Algae. So, here we have the CLA Rock preset, but we customized it a little bit. Let's just talk about the settings. So, 1.5 to 1. Attack 4, the release is on auto release, but then from the preset we increased the threshold to get a little bit more compression, and then I took the drive setting and I increased it all the way. This is going to make the drums pop out of the mix like you will never believe. Let's take a listen to it with the compression and then we'll do an AB. Man, that really, really fit this mix perfectly. All the instruments sound clearer, they have more space, the low end is tighter, the drums are punching out, and it's wider. Let's do an AB now, so I'll bypass the processor throughout the song. And it really just does wonders for that mix. So that is the FG Red on a pop rock mix. Now we're going to move to a more vintage rock mix. This is going to be something more old school. It's going to, you know, have a little bit less of that, you know, ultra definition and pop. We want to, you know, take a listen to what we can do to make a mix bus processor enhance this mix. So let's take a listen to it with no processing first. Again, a pretty good starting point for a mix. What we want to do is take the VBC's FG Moo. Our goal here is to add a little bit more life and vibe and mojo to those mids because the mids on a vintage rock mix are really what makes it stand out. And we want to wake those mids up. We want to tighten up those lows and add a little bit more space, polish, and definition. The FG Moo is modeled after some famous tube compressors. It's kind of like a hybrid that we did. And it's going to be the perfect processor to give this that little bit of last minute finishing touches. So the settings we have here are the attack on 3, the release on 1.5, and we're not going to be compressing much. This is going to be more of a subtle change. So I hope you have some high quality headphones or speakers that you're listening to. But this is going to be a really important little bit of last bit of fatness, tightness, and polish. Let's take a listen with it on. Man, that really, really woke this mix up. The low end is so much fatter. The mid-range vibe came out. The top end clarity of the vocal was so much better. I mean, this was just the perfect processor for this type of mix. Let's do an A-B now. A 
again, it really gives it that final mix sound. It's amazing what this processor can do. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is actually not a mix. It's going to be drums because the virtual bus compressor sound amazing on the drum bus. Again, the first thing I'll do is play some dry drums. These are deluxe drums straight out of SSD4. Here we go. So these drums sound really nice, they're very well recorded, but they're not the kind of drums that are going to slam through a mix. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're actually going to start off with a little bit of processing from the virtual mix rack. We have the FGNEQ adding a little bit of high shelf, a little bit of 3.2K. Remember, this is a powerful EQ. This small boost, this 1.67D boost, does a lot. We have a little bit of the mid-mid-range at about around 1.6K, and we added some low-end at around 80 hertz. This is 80 here. Then we went to Revival, where we added some shimmer and some thickness. Let's just take a listen to what that does to the mix alone. So already we're getting somewhere. That little bit of EQ kind of started to give some more depth and life to it. Now we're going to go into my favorite drum compressor ever. It's the FG Grey. It's modeled after one of the most classic mix bus compressors in the world. It's got some cool mods to it, but let's talk about the setting that we're using on these drums. We've got attack 1, release 0.2, very aggressive, ratio 4. Now the reason we can be so aggressive with it is because we actually have the mix knob mixing the wet and dry compression almost about half and half. We have at 44%. We also have the high pass filter at 40 hertz letting in some of those lows to let those lows breathe. Let's first take a listen to the drums now with the mix all the way up. So a lot of compression there, clearly too compressed, but very analog sounding. What, what again, what we do is we back up that mix knob. Here we are, 44%. Now let's take a listen. Now that's way better. That's really waking up this drum kit. It's making that room sound really come out. It's making the transients round up and get a little bit fatter. So the last processor we're going to use for our drum bus is the virtual tape machines. We're not going to hit it too hard. We're just going to put it at uh, 30 ips, half inch, FG9. And the point of this processor is we want to saturate the transients a bit and add a little bit more warmth and mojo to those lows and mids, as well as absorb some of that high end and kind of take off some of that digital high end. Let's take a listen to the drums now. Now these sound like they're ready for a mix. Let's do an AB here. I'm going to AB all the processors on and off. So when I hit this button here, it will be off and this button they'll all be on. Let's take a listen. So that is quite a dramatic change just from these three Slate Digital processors. So that is the Slate Digital Mix Bus tutorial, and stay tuned for many more tutorials, and of course, happy mixing.